So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions and you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to episode 4 of Zero to a Million Coins in 20 Hours. So, we're not looking too bad on the account. Uh, we've gone and spent just under 6 hours so far, which means we should be on, I guess, quote unquote 300k. The account is looking very, very strong. We've gone and sold on a few of the Kreska silvers. Uh, we bought yesterday, still got a lot of the Tarakowskis and never got around selling. But uh, yeah, the account is looking very, very strong. As I Obviously got loads and loads of silvers, which are probably on average selling about 2k, so, you know, I mean, we've got a transfer list of arguably 200k, I'd say, because uh, the Tarakowskis are obviously 200k each. We've got another 19 cards here, which again, these are probably at average 2k. I mean, we've literally been selling this guy, like, loads of this guy for 2.2k today. So there's another 20 cards there. There's another 37 silvers there. And then if I go into the club, we've, you know, furthermore got, I don't know... Where many pages? One, two, three, wait, three more pages, I'd say, of expensive silver. So the account, I'd say, is looking close to 400k, given I can actually sell these players on, you know, it's a different story. So because we're on 400k, we're going to change the, little, the methods up a little bit. We're going to change from silver trading to special card trading. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, what I do is I'll go and show you guys how you can set special card trading, or how you can set the special card trading filter up. So, how you go and set the special filter is you go special, you go and put shadow, you can go and put hunter. And then what you need to do from this part onwards is all about finding the filter. Now, what I'd recommend is set your minimum bid to 9.5k. So your maximum buy now, or maximum bid here to 12k. Your minimum buy now to 10k. Uh, and your maximum buy now to unlimited. What you're going to do is you're going to search and what you need to be, be able to do is get rid of every card, if not every card, but one over the hour. And to get rid of these cards, what you can do is by basically decreasing the maximum bid and increasing the minimum by now. You can also increase the minimum bid, um, but 9.5k should be a, a high enough minimum bid. So what we need to do right now is we need to go over 59th minute and see how can we get rid of cards being over the 59th minute. Because again, for this to work and for us to be able to utilize a console I guess exclusive mechanic, which is why this is such a good method. Uh, there's got to be one or less card over an hour. So as you can see, there are quite a lot of cards over the hour. Now remember, our minimum buy now is only 10k. Now to get rid of a lot of these cards, and a lot of these cards are UCLs, we've got 10k there at 10,750. We've got 12k there, we've got 10k there, we've got 10k there, 12k there. Yeah, again, to get rid of a lot of these UCLs, you're going to have to increase that minimum buy now. We saw a lot of cards there for 12k, we saw quite a few for 10k, so what we're going to do is we're going to up this to 12 to 50. And now when I search, you'll be able to see that all those UCL cards, if not all but a few, are now, got, you know, are all basically over, been taken over the, taken off over the hour, I can't speak. So I would say this, this filter is a little bit complicated to explain, but, um, you know, worst comes to worst, you can just come to my stream and ask me any questions, I probably will be streaming, uh, you know, whilst you're watching this video. So now we've still got, what have we got? We've still got a few pages over the hour. So let's have a little look. All right, so remember our maximum bid is 12K. And that's another one of the things you're gonna change. Now, maximum bid 12K, what you wanna do is you wanna see what is either the starting price or the current bid. Now, all of these have actually had current bids of 11,750. Which means if I go and lower the bid to 11,050, everything that's over 11,050, aka all those cards that was up for 11,750, now won't pop up. So let's go and search that right now and see uh, see how we're looking. So again, remember you can have one or less cards over an hour for you to be able to use the uh, mechanic, or the console exclusive mechanic, which once again is why this method is so OP because you can basically, a lot. sadly a lot of trading is kind of mugged off or I guess cucked via the web app, whereas this method is not cucked via the web app because the web app literally can't do this method. Brilliant, so now there's three cards over an hour. So we've got to look at this and see how can we get rid of these cards. Um... Two of the cards uh, we can get rid of. So the Amiibi, what I would personally do, because I know that Amiibi sells at like 15k, I would go and bid 11,750. The reason I would go and bid 11,750 is because we can only look at cards that, we're only looking at cards with a maximum bid of 11,50. And if I go and bid 11,750, then that card's not going to pop up because it is above 11,50. So that'd be one card. So now I need to get rid of one of these two cards. 
And the obvious thing would be either to increase the minimum buy now to 14k, but then that, that doesn't allow you to get some good deals. So what I'd actually would go and do is change my maximum bid, minimum bid from 9.5k to 9.6k. And now if I scroll to the end, there should only be Wambasaka and Amiibi, but remember we'll bid on Amiibi. Um, just so then, you know, Amiibi isn't over the hour and this filter works. If we can get this going. What I'm actually gonna do is bid on Amiibi on my alt account so I can keep this all flowing in one. Uh, because obviously we don't have many coins on here. I'm not bidding on my own cards, but I'm bidding on cards to get rid of them on the filter because the last thing I want to do is bid on a card for 12k uh, and then have less coins to kind of work with on this road to glory. So if I can go and actually bid on the Amiibi on basically my main account, which is on the web app. Go and find Amiibi before I get to that fifth ninth minute. There you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bid 11,750. I have nothing to worry about because that Amiibi literally sells at like 16, 17k. So we're going to get to that fifth ninth minute, and if by magic, there we go, there is only one card over an hour. This moves on to the second part, I guess the mechanic. The mechanic we use is basically compare price back out. You'll see that a second ago we saw the lot, but now that we've pressed compare price back out, we've got two more cards popping up. I press compare price back out, and there you go, another card pops up, another card pops up. And you'll see that loads of cards will, you know, continuously pop up. And there we go. There's basically how you can utilize one of these mechanics. You know, on the web app, you can't do this. And this is why this method is so OP on console in comparison to web app. Now, it's all good that you've got the filter. It's all good that you've got, you know, the, the console exclusive mechanic. The question is, how are you going to get a deal? Well, what you need to do is you need to learn as many special cards as possible. And I'd tell you there's probably about 100, at least 100 to learn. So the best way of learning special card prices is if you don't, if you, if you can go and tell me what a player sells for, go and research them. So let's say I'm comparing price. All right, and a Delot pops up. I don't know what Delot sells for. So what I'm gonna do is head over to Footbin and I'm gonna go and type Delotson. Make sure it's the right Delot. We're looking at left back Delot. Now, how would I see what he sells for? What I would do is head over to the hourly average and just look at the peaks. So looking at like a 37 there, but apart from the 37, we're only seeing like a 34. Did they have any good peaks yesterday? We had 35s, 35s. So I could probably presume that I could sell him for 35K. Now, what you could go and do, or what I personally do, is actually go and write, it, write down the lot of 35k. Not only so then I can use it, but this is also part of my subscriber trading guide. Feel free plug. Uh, and again, we're going to press compare price back out. And let's say I didn't know what Sansone sells for. So what I'm going to do is head over to Footbin and I'm going to type Sansone in. The exact same concept. I'm going to go look at the hourly and I'm going to go, uh, I mean, he's been like 19k. He's been 18,650. So I could definitely presume he goes to 19. I mean, he's literally 19.5k right now. We'll look at him yesterday, and, you know, even yesterday is about 19,250. So we go off the presumption that, you know, we can go and sell him for 19k. And what I'm going to do is keep, press compare, keep pressing compare price back out, and eventually a Sansone might pop up for 15k. Well, we've learned that Sansone sells for 19k, so if one pops up 15k, boom, I'll go and buy it, and, uh, you know, there's the deal. I go and sell it, make, you know, 1k profit, whatever. Uh, in terms of profit, how do you want to work out what you want to buy? I always say 10% cheaper than what you know it goes for. If I know Sansone goes for 19, I want to get him at 17, because, you know, 1.9k. Because what happens if you get him 10% cheaper, 5% is that is tax, 5% is profit. Worst comes to worst, that 5% profit, you know, if let's say you misbrought the card, that's a 5% safety margin you have of maybe you overbrought the card, or maybe you're struggling to sell the card, but you've got 5% to work with until you're even taking a loss. So, yeah, that is how this filter works. Again, I, I always find it's quite, it's quite an awkward one to explain, but... The thing I, one thing I always say with trading, if stuff is easy, the method's not going to be as efficient because loads more people do it. The harder the, the harder the method is to understand, the harder the method is to do, in theory, the more profitable it is because less people will be doing it. And obviously, if there's less competition in a method, you're going to get more deals and in turn make more profit. But without further ado, let's go and show you guys some deals we get via this method. And we've already got our first deal, and that is a uh, McTomney here at 25.5. McTomney should be a go and sell for... If I can, uh, can I have a space in my transfer list? No. Should we go and sell McTominay for 29k? Uh, that's going to be a 3.5k difference. It's going to have a tax of uh, just about 1.5k, which means it's going to take a 2k profit, which again is over the 5% quota. It's not massive profit, but again, this is what happens when you're trading with the cheaper of the informs in this method. You've got to be taking lower profit margin. Sorry, not lower profit margins. It's actually a higher profit margin, but a lower, you know, coin profit. Obviously, 2k is nothing crazy, but, you know, it adds up nicely. Uh, and we haven't spent a crazy amount of time doing this method, so. Yep, we're going to get them with Tommy list up for 30k whenever we can get uh, a little bit of space. We are managing to sell the Huesca Silvers, just they're uh, slightly slow to, uh, for, you know, for lack of a better term. But there we go, we'll uh, show you guys when we get another deal. So we managed to get our second deal, and uh, that is a quite a big deal, actually. Uh, we got ourselves a Torreira right here at 40k. Torreira has been going for 46k both this morning and last 
night, so might say maybe after 6 p.m. for him to rebound. But uh, yeah, the idea is to sell him at 46k. That's a 6k difference with a tax of 2.3k, and therefore going to make us a 3.7k profit. So actually, a really nice little return on investment on the uh, terrain rate. It's obviously just a game of you know waiting for him to sell on and such. But yeah, not too bad. So we got ourselves our second deal of the uh, the day, and that is the Torreira for 40. Going to flip that for 46. Obviously, I don't know. I think I've already explained the uh, the deal on Torreira. Okay, so just about seven minutes before 6 p.m., we've uh, gone and completed up uh, one of the marquee matchups. Just used a bunch of Spanish players, and it's uh, going to give us a 25k pack. I'll be honest with you, I actually don't think the odds on me profiting from this pack are too favourable because uh, obviously you have thrown an 80 rated team, which uh, you know potentially is more. Yeah. If it wasn't a board, I don't think it's too favourable. I mean, maybe I get lucky and get Mendy. Although you can't get Mendy. I literally got 82. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's even pro uh, favourable that I profit from this. I don't know. You get a few Portuguese players and Italians, and they're obviously good for objectives, whatever. But yeah, we'll get them listed. And uh, yeah, I think the next thing you see would be me cracking in the way at 6pm. So we've got to go ourselves loads and loads of special deals. So let's go and walk you guys through what we've managed to get. So we start here with a McTomney. Got him at 30. Going to be selling him for 39. Nothing that came out at 6 p.m. is going to really be a detriment to what his price is going to be. So, yeah, decent. Got another one here at 31. Going to flip that for 39. Got Rafinha here at 31. We're going to flip this up at 38k. Uh, got Rodriguez here for 16.5. Going to flip that for 20k. Got a Golovin at 13. I'm actually not too sure what Golovin is. I think he's 23. I think I'm going to take like an 8k profit on this guy. Let's have a little look. Got Golovin at 13. Yep, I think we're going to flip him for 23. Let's have a little look. 24 even. Really, really good profit right there. Nearly a 10k profit on just one player. Uh, Ocean Man, not too sure. Sansone, I'm pretty sure we bought earlier. Or we're talking about him earlier. I think we're going to flip him at 19. And Ocean Man, who we got for 12.5. We're going to go and flip him for uh, 15k. So, not bad whatsoever. Uh, we don't really have too many coins right now to trade with uh, specials. So, oh yeah, we've also had some sales actually. Uh, sold on the McTommy got for 26, I think, or cheaper. Uh, and there you go, another uh, low player. So not looking bad, what we do right now is probably list up some of the silvers that I still have in the club and then do a little bit of silver trading. So we picked up loads and loads of silvers, just running silver La Liga, just while we're uh, waiting for a few of our specials to sell on. Got a few highlights, uh, got him, everything under 700 of course. Got him, he sells at about 2.5k. He's probably selling on quite well right now because of the uh, most recent objective. Luckily, a few of the silvers that are actually relatively decent cards are now selling on for a little bit more just because people are using them in this new objective. That's... Uh, that's being used. But yeah, got ourselves some decent deals right there. We've also managed to go and sell on uh, the Rodriguez. Got for 16.5. So yeah, not looking too bad. We'll go and get them listed up. Probably pick up a few more deals and then uh, go and call it a night. But yeah, tomorrow you can expect a lot more special card trading. So we've uh, spent a little bit more time and just, uh, well, we're now finally done with uh, the picking up the silvers. But there you go. Just picked up a few there. Bunch of league. league. We've actually managed to get lots of non-rares. Got this guy, didn't we? 1.2k. Oh yeah, wait. I actually got an insane deal. Um... So someone earlier was saying, have you had any Candice players? And I said, no. And you wouldn't believe it, but... Well, anyway, we got a ready Candice player for 600 coins. And this guy actually goes and sells on for about 7k. So obviously that's about 12 times the price I paid for him. So really, really good, uh, really good pull there. As well as, you know, multiple other silvers. But that is going to be calling it at the end of the episode. There you go, bought him for 400 coins, sold him for 3.5. Very, very nice. But yep, another very successful episode. More special card training today. Obviously, we didn't have that much liquid today, but hopefully we'll be able to do a little bit of selling overnight and, uh, you know, manage to sell on enough players to give me about 100k tomorrow. But nonetheless, we still got, what, one, two deals that I've already sold on. Three with the Torreira. And then what else do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any more? I managed to get nine special deals. I don't think that's too bad for day one of special card trading. But, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching today's episode. Thank you once again for the support on the channel. Uh, you know, it does motivate me to bring these out every day and uh, work hard on them. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode.